Hi everybody! Welcome to West Virginia. My name is Cheryl and this is my channel, Trinkle Stitches. Today is Saturday, May 1st, 2021. And this is my Floss Tube episode number 116. Welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate you stopping by and spending a little time with me. It's going to be a long one, so get yourself something to drink if you so choose. And let's chat a while, shall we? I haven't been here for a little while and I'll give you a little... I'll share a little bit of an update at the end, but I don't want to clog up the first part of the video for those who are just here for the stitching. But if you would like to um, hear what, what's been going on with me lately, I mean, I, I, it, it's been nuts. My life has been crazy the last couple of months and lots of good things, lots of bad things, lots of in-between things. And so, it, you know, it, it's just living life. Gotta love it. And I'll put some timestamps in there, so if you want to uh, pick and choose what you want to watch, that, that's, that's fine too. But I appreciate you coming back, and if you're returning, and if you're new, hi. Okay, I've got notes. I need notes because I've got a lot of stuff. I'm going to be doing this in segments because I don't have enough room to put everything <clears throat> that um, I want to share together at one time so just uh, bear with me and hopefully my editing I remember how to do it maybe it's like riding a bike I'm hope I'm hopeful but while I was gone I celebrated my three-year floss tube anniversary on April 9th April 9th was three years that I have been a part of the floss tube community I've been a part of the stitching community for 30 plus years but Floss tube for three years, and I've really enjoyed it. I did miss you guys. Thank you very much for those of you who reached out to check on me, and I uh, sent me messages and emails, and I really appreciate your thoughts and your prayers. And you know, anytime somebody thinks about you, it, it's a, it's just a little happy hug through the universe, and I, I really appreciate it. You, you just you just don't know. So. I am excited to celebrate my three years on Foss Tube, and I will be doing that. It's just uh, not right now. So, but you know, stay tuned, and we'll do something. Now, like I said, I am planning on doing this in segments, so I have a couple favorite finds I'd like to share with you. So, hold on just a minute, and I'll go get those. Okay. I went to visit my daughter in North Carolina, and she lives in the cutest little town, which is just lined streets of little shops and uh, specialty shops. We had the best time just walking on on the streets and going into the little shops. There, there are there were tons of antique shops. There was a Habitat for Humanity there. And I did find a few things, and I, I was a really, really excited because I found some flower frogs. And I know if you've watched Floss Tube, you know, everybody shows these. <laughs> well, most, you know, a lot, of, a lot of stitchers show these, but what they are is they are actually used by, were used by florists to put into a vase, and then the flowers would stick down in the holes. But... As you know, a stitchers use them as scissor holders. So they fit into, you can put them into any vase or anything with the same diameter um, as the, you know, the flower frog. It sits down in into something and then you can put your scissors in there so this is I have several of these but I always get them when I find them I don't have any of the colored ones they make them in colors so uh, they did but I've not been lucky enough to find any of the colored ones in thrift stores or anything now I've seen them in in um, antique shops but they're very expensive when you do find the colored ones so but I got these two, and then I got these, which I initially thought were flower frogs, but they're actually desk, to put on your desk, they're, they're glass, um, to hold your pencils and pens, but they do the same thing. 
And these are freestanding. $4 I paid for that. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm wrong. I got two big ones, two of these, and one other thing for less than $10. Apparently, this, this is stamped February, and all the February things were like 70% off. And then January was also a, a big sale. So, yeah, all four of them plus one other item for less than $10. Seriously. But, you know, like I said, these are, you know, they're freestanding. So you can just set them on, on your stitchy table or whatever. And uh, so that's an idea the pencil and pen holders so but yeah that was that was a score i was very very tickled about that finding those and i also of course told my daughter i said anytime you see those get them so um little education there for her i i in the same shop there was a filing cabinet that was a habitat for humanity actually there was a filing cabinet, and the filing cabinet drawers were marked cross-stitch, all the drawers. And a sign that was stuck on the filing cabinet said, um, all cross-stitch charts, um, like five for a dollar or something. Oh gosh, y'all, I immediately put everything that I was carrying down, and I told my daughter, I said, I'm going to be here a little while, y'all can go and uh, look around. I was I, I was so excited. Opened up the drawers and they were almost empty. <laughs> they were almost empty. Somebody had beat me to it. They had took almost all of them. The only thing that were things that were left were pieces of magazines and some crochet magazines, di different kind of crafting magazines, and all the cross stitch stuff was gone. And I was like, oh man, I can't. I was so excited, and then it just dashed, you know, right. But anyway, my, my daughter laughed at me. She thought that was funny. But, but um, the, the other thing that I found was this. This is a silent butler. And these were used in, they were, they were big in the 1940s. They were used, what, what you do is you, after dinner, you take it around on your dining room table and you, you there's a little broom or dust 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 broom and you rake off all the crumbs into it it's like a, a crumb catcher because they used tablecloths back then and you didn't want the crumbs to stay on your tablecloth so they would use one of these to go around and get the crumbs or the ashes if somebody smoked at the table which they they used to do but i gave four dollars for this too and it's got an m on it i could not these are really um you can find them online on like ebay or etsy and they're they're reasonably priced and they're just beautiful conversation pieces to have on your sideboard or your buffet so i was very very tickled to find that so it's it's metal <laughs> it's it's even got finger like grips on it so i mean fancy and it's got a m on it and that was that was the kicker right there that was the kicker so this is um something that you know i'll pass down that someday so that's 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 very special four dollars four dollars so, that was my favorite finds, and I'm happy to share with you, and I'm hoping to bring that segment back to my channel, and um, I will be right back with some finishes. I've got three finishes since I saw you last. I've been stitching a lot. I've been stitching a lot. So, let me show you what I finished. This is Fractor Bird from Shakespeare's Peddler. This is where it was when I showed it to you on March 1st. And there wasn't much left to do on this one. It was only 515 stitches that I needed to do to finish it up. And in this one, I have 1,404 stitches total. And here's the finish. Isn't he just the bee's knees? This was a kit. And it came with a jute and a little spool and everything to put it together, the fabric to put on the back of it. So, 
yeah at some point I'll get that fully finished but he is just super cool he is just super cool I love him funky little bird I finished I stitched him on a mystery piece of linen 36 count one over two so he's just a funky little guy love him so that was finish number two for the year finish number three for the year is town of Halloween this was the 2016 issue of just cross stitch Halloween special edition by primitive hair here's where this one was the last time you saw it I needed 976 stitches in this one to finish it up and in this one I have 4587 total stitches and I finished it March 20th oh I finished fractor bird March 8th I finished this one March 20th so I had two finishes in March and here it is and remember I struggled uh, with the colors uh, there's supposed to be two colors in it but I just went ahead and did all the same color this is Raven by Gentle Arts it's got the green in it I love the way it turned out I stitched it on a 30 count uh, Kansas City blend from R&R &R. the girls are upset about something <laughs> so town of Halloween and my fourth finish for the year is Potions, Brews, and Spells by Cherish Stitches. I think this one was in the 2016 issue. I don't know. I'll have to, I will put it on the screen because you know me, I can't. Let me show you the, the full picture of the full pattern. See on the bottom where the gate is and it says beware that black work gate. My fabric wasn't big enough to put that gate on there, so I kind of truncated that off of there and just arranged it and made it mine. So in this one, 1,909 stitches to finish it since right here. And 3,989 stitches total. Here's my finish. This is on a... I'm pretty sure it's a 36 count um, stormy night I, I'm almost certain and I stitch it with black coffee from classic color works potions brews and spells so very happy with that finish too so three finishes well I finished that one in April, two in March, one in February. So four finishes so far this year. And they were all whip go pieces too, so that's good. I have some new starts. I have 10 new starts from my March Mayhem and then one extra special start. March Mayhem this year, I, I decided in March I was going to do some new starts to... Um, you know work on during the year and get some new things kitted up so that I I hate the kitting process I, I don't enjoy it at all so I like to take time like that um, to get some things start kitted up so that I don't have to fiddle with that I, I can just pick something up and start working on it so I kitted up 12 things that my husband chose for me and if you're new to my channel those videos are on in a playlist on my channel and I put 10 charts into 10 envelope or 12 envelopes and my husband or five I don't remember how much it was that was that was months ago but he chose one chart out of each one of those envelopes and that's what I started so I started one every other day in March just like I had hoped everything went smoothly and uh, if I couldn't start it the day I was supposed to, I had that second day to play with, and, and a couple of times that did happen. But that's why I like starting them every other day, because, you know, if something, if life happens, you know, you've still got, you don't have to mess up your plans. So I, I had a lot of fun with that. Uh, my husband enjoyed seeing my progress on the, on the charts that he chose. And um, so I will um, show you those now. My first new start for March Mayhem was Easter Tree by Autumn Lane Stitchery. 
I like this one because it was it's kind of a mixture between Valentine's Day and Easter. I, I really like the colors. The they're just beautiful. I chose to stitch this on a 32 count vintage blue Whisper Belfast that I got from One Two Three Stitch. It is a Zweigart fabric, and I got 311 stitches in this one. See the modeling on that fabric? Oh gosh, it's just perfect. And that hot pink. So that's my start on that one, 311 stitches. The next one I started was Sweetheart Hill by Plum Street Samplers. And this piece of fabric I've had in my stash, I, I think it's a really, really pale lilac. It's my eyesight's not as good as it used to be. But some somewhere along the way, something bled on it. But I really wanted this fabric for this piece, so I measured it out, and it's going to fit perfectly on it uh, around that stain. So this is my start on this one, 327 stitches, and nothing to see here. It's just uh, just the bottom of the bottom of the design. So 327 stitches in that one. My third start for Mayhem is Freedom Needle Book by Stacy Nash Primitives. So pretty. And this one, I just couldn't stop. I got 460 stitches in it, and I'm stitching it on a 32 count piece of heroic linen. Isn't that pretty? 460 stitches. That's going to finish up really quick. And then on the same piece of fabric, I was able to fit Sampler Flag from Homespun Elegance. I actually got 400 even in this one. And here's where this one is. So they're, they're just beautiful. And I fell in love with this fabric and I just had to order another piece. So it's, um, it's really pretty with the red and blue modeling. So that's Sampler Flag. So that's the first four starts. The fifth start is Frosty Night by New York Dreamer Designs, Azia Gladstone. 463 stitches in this one. And I'm stitching this one on a 32 count piece of Stormy Night um, fabric. That modeling is just amazing. But I love the way that white's popping on that. It's going to be really pretty on that fabric. It just looks like a winter day, you know, blustery. and So I really like that. My sixth start was Ye Old Crow by Heart and Hand. In this one, 313 stitches. But this is, I think, a piece of fabric that I coffee tea dyed myself. It's just, it's just a piece from my stash. But it's going to fit perfectly above this part right here. So it's going to look really pretty on that. So Ye old Crow. My seventh start was Coffee Drinker's Confession by Heartstring Samplery. Got in this one 462 stitches and I got the all the coffee beans across the top done. Those are such a fun little stitch. And the colors are just beautiful. I, I switched around a few of the colors because um, I love that green and I just wanted it to stand out a little bit better. But I love, I love, love, love that. The fabric just looks like a, a cup of coffee with some cream in it. Isn't that pretty? Coffee Drinker's Confession. Number eight is Thread Needle Street by Annie Bees. This one I got in at 526 stitches. Couldn't stop. <laughs> this is a 32 count piece of Ancient Coin by Black Cauldron Dye Works that I got at Market. I can't remember if it's last year or year before. 526 stitches and I'm using one over two. Look at that fabric 
Oh, it's perfect. So that's the first lamp post. Pretty flowers. I love the way the green is variegating for the grass. 526 stitches. 36 count. So 526 stitches doesn't look like 526 stitches on 36 compared to 32. Coffee House by Little House Needleworks was start number nine. And in this one, 337 stitches. And I'm doing this one on a piece of white even weave from Fat Quarter Shop, Lori Holt. So that's my start on that one, just some of the border. 337 stitches. And my last Mayhem start was Pineberry Lane's Fancy Blacket. This is October Ride. And this one I'm putting on 32 count Vintage Country Mocha, which is my absolute favorite fabric ever. <laughs> I got a 282 stitches in on this one. It's those leaves are really are green, but they're not showing up very green. So, but the modeling's showing up really pretty on this. This is my favorite fabric. <laughs> I love it. I put all my hawk run hollows on this fabric. It's just beautiful. Now, I know I was supposed to start twelve projects. I started ten. I did not start the BAP. And one of the patterns, the it was a strawberry. A pillow. There's just a small strawberry sampler with an alphabet. I opened the pattern to start it and there was no pattern inside. <laughs> it was just the cover. So the pattern has gotten separated somehow from the cover. I, I have it somewhere. I just don't know where it's at right now. I also started another project on April 1st, which kind of took the place of the BAP that I didn't didn't open from my husband choosing because I could not not I got this chart in a trade with Jill hi Jill and I could not not start it <laughs> this is one of my unicorns I have been looking for this chart for years and she had it and offered it up and for trade and I didn't have what she was looking for particularly but I was able to sweet talk her into a trade and we um, we exchanged patterns and or ex we we made a trade basically and um, I now own <laughs> the primitive needle which is hollow <laughs> I can't tell you how excited I am about this I have this one in Black at Sky. I don't have Black at Sky yet. That's another one that I'm after. But this one is just... Ah! Uh, it's... it's. I, 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 I didn't hold out much hope that she would trade with me. But I had something, luckily, that she wanted. And uh, we, we made it happen. So I am thrilled to death. This is, like I said, Primitive Needle, Lisa Roswell. And um, her charts are very hard to find now, and they're, they're very pricey. So to have this in my stash is just... Ah! So I started it um, almost, well, almost immediately. I, I, I not, I, I, well, I started it April 1st. I did immediately, though, order the rest of the flosses that I needed for it. So I have all of the called for flosses. They're mostly weeks. There are a few general arts in there. But look at those colors. Aren't they just beautiful? And you know, the, the motifs are small in there. But 
and the fancies you know you're not gonna I'm not gonna use much of some of these colors but I didn't have them in my stash so now I'm going to be after I finish with it I'm gonna have the colors some of the colors that I was missing from my uh, from my collection so win-win you know so there's the there's the color palette the design is let me tell y'all 197 by 395 so it is a big big girl but I luckily had a piece of 36 count fog from picture this plus that I had gotten from Rochelle at the cottage needle and it worked out perfectly the, the dimensions worked out perfectly so I was able to uh, to get it started so I have in this one 505 stitches and I started at the bottom and I've got the word witch in there I hope that's my screen grab <laughs> that's fine with me so I got that one started and the fabric see the modeling it's going to it's going to be just perfect so which is hollow primitive needle is now mine thank you jill thank you jill thank you jill i cannot thank you enough thank you thank you thank you so i will get the whips ready and i will be right back okay i'll show you my zombie run pieces first these are Four pieces that I chose the end of last year to concentrate on this year for a challenge in the Daily 30 group. I'll be stitching on these every month and the stitch counts will vary but the, each one will at least get 400 stitches a month. So this is March and April stitching and I'll be working on these um, right now for May. So there are three of them are in Q-snaps. So the first one is Village of Alcorn Hollow. I finished the first block, started the second block, and since you saw it last, which is, here's where it was, I've put in 1,019 stitches, and like I said, it's in my Q-snap, so I don't really want to move it because I'm getting ready to uh, take it out because I'm getting ready to work on it, so so there i just got the fence in on the second block this i'm really excited about the second block because it's got that church in it and it's got the um, that has the stained glass i always thought that was really really wonderful so i got the fence that's as wide as the block's going to be so that that's uh village of hawk run hollow my second zombie run piece is colorful eagle by kitty and me designs he got 1269 stitches since you saw him last which is this is where he was and here's where he is now so this month I'll be putting his other eye in so <laughs> I'm excited about that but that all that gold is chronic so he is just really sparkly he's just so noble and proud and it's perfect perfect bird for our country so i love 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 him now his whip go goal is a finish for village its goal is 5,000 stitches this year um, the next one is anniversaries of the heart this is by blackbird designs and i again I finished Evergreen Lane was a November block and I started January block which is swan something I'll put it here I don't know so in this one 923 stitches over the two months and here's where it is now that's the January block it's my fifth block on this one I'm working on so I finished four of them it's what go goal is 5,000 stitches too and my last zombie run piece is Elizabeth uh, Weston <laughs> I'm blanking hands across the sea it's what go goal is 5,000 stitches as well and here's where she was 
and I'm using the called for Alverasois uh, silks or their Belsois for this one she's a big 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 girl I started her I think New Year's Day of 19 if I'm not mistaken in her once 1633 stitches in March and April and here's where she is now those pinks oh my gosh that's the reason I fell in love with this chart with the with those pinks they're just beautiful so I've nearly got the first page done I, there's just a, a leaf or something uh, but this this is the first page where, where that basket cuts off so I've already gotten some of the flower done on the second page so really you can you can pretty much say I've got the I've got one page done out of gosh I think there's 19 20 pages so yeah she's she's a big girl <laughs> but she, I love every stitch I'm using um, like I said the silks and you can uh, it's one over two that's 35 count wild honey linen from Lakeside okay I worked on beggars fourth by Threadwork Primitives. In this one, well, here's where it was last time. I'm out of practice. Be patient with me. And 515 stitches. Here's where it is. It's it's not going to take long to finish that one up. It's whip go goals to finish. So my West Virginia home. I'll put the designer here. I'm blanking right now. Completely blanking. Here's where this one was. 542 stitches later. And a cat paw. Look. So here is where this is now. Look at that little sheep. Can you even with that little sheep? Uh, I mean. 36 count 1 over 2. My West Virginia home. I know the designer I just can't I can't put, I can't put my finger on it baby it's cold outside by heartstring samplery and here's where it was the last time you saw it again 32 count stormy night Belfast I love this fabric love the modeling it's one of those printed fabrics just like the vintage country mocha and the modeling is just beautiful. It's only on one side. And this one, 504 stitches. <clears throat> and I'm making my house blue. So, yep, this one, Whip Go Goal, is a finish. So when it's called, I'll definitely be concentrating on that one. Strawberry Hill, Brenda Gervais and here's where it was i just had the roof on 501 stitches and here's where it is now that's mulberry you can see the modeling it's a beautiful red by gentle arts and this is that vintage country mocha I think this is the prettiest piece I've ever seen of it. It's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Away We Ride. I told y'all I've been stitching. <laughs> Away We Ride by Blackbird Designs. This is a 2018 whip. I need to get the, the its goal is, no, its goal is not a finish, is it? Its goal is, where is it? I know it was called. 3,000 stitches. But I, I'm going to I'll probably shoot for a finish on this one. Here's where it was the last time you saw it. It's, it's just languished too long. I need to finish it. And I got 578 stitches in it. And here's where it is. That middle part is all done. 
all that's, well, I say all that's left, but it's a lot. It's the words at the top and the bottom, and then that beautiful border with the acorns going around. So I don't know why I shouldn't be able to get that done this year, along with all those 7-Eleven other things I want to do. So that's Away We Ride. That's my own color conversion. And I added some purple in there to just kind of give it a little more mystery. There's some purple stars and the window. Um, you just wonder what's going on behind that window. So I was glad to get that middle, middle part all done. A lot of stars, a lot of stars. <laughs> and uh, this one I've been concentrating on quite a bit. This is Wash Day Again by Canterbury Designs. This is a monochromatic chart, and you can do it in any color you want. And this one, I've, well, here it was. A lot of progress on this one because it was called for Whipco. And I've put 3,048 stitches in here in March and April. So here's where it is now. And I would just work on something, then put 500 stitches in this one. Work on something, put 500 stitches in this one. And that's kind of the way it's been going. So all, all that's left, all that's left, still quite a bit, is the dress. Let's see, the dress. Another quilt. And her and the cat, and the rest of the grass, and then the rest of the border. So, yeah, I, I will definitely get it done. Um, this is, you know, going to be, I'm going to still work, work on this one as a focus until it is done. So, wash day again. And the last one that I worked on, <laughs> March and April, was Quaker Christmas by Bygone stitches I'm pretty sure yeah here's where it was I only had one little motif done and 533 stitches and I've got another motif done and so more of the words of the first song so that's that those are my whips for March and April. So, you've seen new starts, finishes, new starts, and whips. My March stats, I had 10 new starts in the month of March, two finishes, 7,726 stitches, and that's an average of 249 a day. April stats, one new start, one finish, 11,058 stitches, average of 368 stitches a day. I have 38 whips, and my stitch my hours, I, I crossed over 100,000 stitches. 100,415 stitches. And if you're not familiar with my stitch my hours, it's a personal challenge that I started on December 1st of 2019, and I'm putting one stitch in my whips, uh, my cross stitch for each hour I've been alive. And right now, I'm in December of 1977, and I'm 11 and a half years old. So, 11 and a half of years of my life have one stitch since December of 2019. I was so happy when I saw that 100,000 mark. That, that, was, that was really cool. So, okay, that is my whips. That's all my stitching, and we are going to move into retail therapy. So let me show you what goodies I've gotten over the past couple months. I will be right back. Okay, boy, what a mess, what a mess. I've got stuff everywhere. It's the thing about making these videos when you've waited a while and you've got so much to share. But, you know, I really love it because I, I you know, play with your stash, that's, that's, I love playing with my stash. I love, I hadn't seen those March Mayhem starts um, since I started them back in March. So it was nice to see those again and play with them and, and my whips, of course. And uh, so it's, it's a lot of fun, you know, going back and looking at what's happened the, the past few weeks. But 
this was fun too getting all this together because I've gotten some new stash uh, lately and I would like to share that with you. I got my March Expo order from Rochelle at the Cottage Needle and I want to show you what I've gotten so far. I, I just chose a few things. You know, I'm pacing myself because, you know, I've got, it's not like I don't have anything to stitch on. So there, there are more things from the expo that I will be picking up over the, you know, coming weeks and months. But I did snag a couple things that I really liked. So the first one is Love and Joy by October House. And this one just, it would be a very quick little stitch for Christmas. And it, it's beautiful. I love the colors. So that one definitely caught my eye and it's mine now. I love it. I got Reaping Love from Silver Creek Samplers, of course. <laughs> this one's just the bee's knees. I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> you know, I love that morbid stuff. I do. Uh, I mean, that's just this one. This was one of the highlights for me. Uh, well, there were several. There were several highlights in, in the expo, but this one especially. Um, this one is my necessity from Heartstring Samplery, and the coffee stuff just gets me. It gets me. And it says, "Ear the cream in my coffee." You're the soul in my shoe. My necessity, I'd be lost without you. And it's a, it's a little coffee pot. Can, can you? Ah! Kesslin's Cross Stitch Fun. This is a big one. This is 445 by 267. She's a big one. But I love it. You know, all of those little motifs are just going to make it like a lot of mini little finishes that you can just... That's why I like that Quaker Christmas. But it's just got so much to look at. Look at all that stuff. That cat cracks me up. And she's got another colorway on here. But I'll probably do it in one color. What color that will be, I don't know. And when I'll do it, I don't know. And the last thing that I got, this was it. This was it. This was it. Charlie from RTM. Yeah. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Willy Wonka. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm going to change it up, though. You know what? I'm going to put the motifs all around, like the Oz one. Yep, yep, yep. So, I'm thinking this might be a birthday start. I'm breaking my rules all over the place. Usually, I don't start something I get until the following year after I get it. But that Witch is Hollow, I started. I think that's all so far, right? I think so. But yeah, this might be my birthday start. Okay. Now, I had mentioned that I did a trade with Jill for Witch's Hollow, and she included this beautiful card. It's a Birds of a Feather. Oh, Birds of a Feather card. And there's the sampler that that's from. Birds of a Feather. One of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite designers. And she sent me the Witch's Hollow, but I also 
she also gave me two more charts. This is Eliza Penton, Penance 1726 from Plum Street. And it's morning, it's a tombstone angel, tombstone, bah, tombstone chart. Says something. Eliza Penance. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord at rest. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And she also gave me the good good whose wife from 2009, the bird keeper. Fabulous. In love with that. Oh. Those colors are just amazing. I want to start them all. I just want to start them all. I want to start. I already spend a lot of time stitching. But. And I can't imagine spending more time stitching, but if I could, I would. I would. Okay, I got an order from Shakespeare's Peddler, uh, Kitten Stitcher, because I blame Talia from the Part-Time Stitcher because she showed... A Scarlet House sampler that she is currently working on and I hadn't seen it. It's from 2000... What was the year? 2011. I hadn't seen it. This is Hannah Tingey, 1823. And OMG. Her whip is absolutely gorgeous. I paused her video, and I, I, I just had a feeling that Teresa would have it, and I, that was the first place I went, and she had it. So, look at that sampler. That brick house. Oh, gosh. It says, The birds without barns or storehouse are fed. From them let us learn to trust for our bread. His saints, what is fitting, shall never be denied. So long as it's written, the Lord will provide. I mean... Look at the moths. Her whip just sold it. She, it, it. I mean, like I said, I just paused it. I just paused it and went right, went right out and got it. Well, I'll have to put that in there later. And you know, they can't travel alone, right? So I picked out another Scarlet House, which this one I've seen before and I've been wanting it. So I just went ahead and pulled the trigger and I got Coverlet Houses from Scarlet House. So pretty. That's a CC work. When you leave the main part unstitched and stitch, or, stitch around it, it's CZ. So Tanya just nailed it with that one. I love that. And I also picked up a Not Forgotten Farm. This is <laughs> too cute. I just couldn't. I was kidding. It's it's so inclined. I would be so inclined to stitch more were it not for sleep. Yeah. That's what I was just talking about. <laughs> Life would work there too. But yeah. Okay. I bid on an eBay auction and won it. And I got another primitive needle. This is Wicked Alphabet from Lisa. 
These charts are not cheap, y'all. <laughs> That's Wicked Alphabet. I want to get that one started too, but I can wait. I don't want to wait. One, two, three, stitch. I got another kitty and me. Oh my, how, how my hands are getting cold. My hands are cold. This is, I uh, just, I hadn't seen it. And when I, when I did see it, it was like, oh goodness. This is Black Work Valentine. Have you guys seen this one? Look at that. Oh gosh, it's so prissy and feminine. Look at that black work. That rose. Oh my gosh. Now, wouldn't that be pretty on a mint green fabric? Or a soft pink? And I love it on the white, too. Oh, gosh, that is so pretty. Good, good, good work, Pamela. And, let's see. From 123Stitch, I also, I fell in love with Cottage Garden, Cottage, Country Cottage Needleworks new samplers of the month. This is January. If you've not seen these yet, they are absolutely adorable. I want them all. Focus. Oh, get my face fat face out of the way. There's January. I, I'm, I apologize for shaking, y'all. I really do. There's February. I can't control it. If I could, I would. Look at that pink. Look at them cakes up there. Those pink hearts. March. Oh, leprechauns. Rainbows. Pot of gold. April. Bunny rabbits and chicks. Cute. So I'll have all those. This, I love it. I don't have a clue where I got it. I, I know it came in from somewhere. I know I ordered from Sandra Stitch Stash. I got uh, weeks from from her. Uh, I can't remember where I got this. This is out on a limb pin limb out on a limb pin keep from Scattered Seeds. Look at that little wren. Isn't that pretty? Now, in this case, I would use those blues. They're beautiful. It only calls for, it's DMC, one, two, three, four, five, six colors, and that blue is 924. Really pretty. A little quick stitch. When I say quick, it's 123 by 80. So, my. Lady Dot finishing pack came for March because I just paid for the May one, so it's on its way. This one is Green Green Grass of Home. <laughs> and look at that. All the good. Look at the fabric. Oh. Look at that. Well, that's my first wax, beeswax conditioner. My, my very first. I, 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 did, I did not have one. I've got this <laughs> that I've been using. <laughs> Can't get this anymore, Thread Heaven. I've been using this for um, the Krynik in Colorful Eagle. But I've, I've not, I didn't have any beeswax. But um, I was trying to show you these buttons. My gosh, it's this pack is amazing. The 
Those would make really pretty needle minders. That's probably what I'll do with them. And this trim, look at that trim. It's in this beautiful green, just mossy green color. Oh, oh. I'm not going to take it all out because, I, you know, I don't care to take it all out if I'm at my desk, but on the couch, it's not very conducive to that. Okay, I ordered some needle minders from Stitch and Button, Miss Vicki, and uh, I, I'll show them to you, but one of them I can't really. Um, <laughs> let's see if I can do this. I had to have it. <laughs> okay, here's the first two. I get it over here. Yeah, you can imagine what's under my finger, but and then uh, Christmas story. Ralphie, which is funny because my son looked <laughs> so much like Ralphie, and his name is Randy. So <laughs> I thought that was funny. They, they I always been a joke in the family that you know they named him. He he should have been Randy, not Ralphie. <laughs> and then I got this one. These um, Lucy chocolate episode and cat and hat. <laughs> Hello, Doctor Seuss. So that's that. And the last thing that I'd like to share with you is from, and she sent me a postcard, but I'll be darned if I know where that thing went. Oh, there it is. There it is. Wait a minute. Goodness gracious. I'm sorry, y'all. Just look at here. Isn't that pretty? It's, it's like it's got a snake on. I've never seen a butterfly like that. Atticus Atlas Butterfly. Uh, okay. Carrie and Stitches. And I'll link her below. She is an uh, admin at Daily 30. And she's from the UK. She has a false tube channel. Please go watch her. She's fabulous. She has a an Etsy shop called Black Pear stitchery and oh, I'll give you her Let's see. there we go you can pause that well yeah black black pear stitchery on Etsy and she like I said, is an admin at Daily 30, and she had this brilliant idea to make needle minders for the group, and I am over the moon with these. Over the moon. She made a Daily 30 with a clock, and she made a 2021 zombie run. They're wooden needle minders. Oh my gosh. Y'all. <laughs> this is Carrie. Just too fabulous for words. I am it's 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 like perfect. They're perfect. So I will use those proudly. I'm, I'm going to use, now that I can use them on my zombie run pieces this month. Okay. <clears throat> I also got a beautiful card, or postcard, from Daylene, who made her own postcard out of a quilt that she made. A photo of that. Can you, uh, clever, isn't that beautiful? Daylene so grateful i will link her below too breath of fresh air bright sunshiny will make you smile guaranteed if you're ever down watch daylene she is she will definitely bring you up beautiful note on the back so thank you daylene thank you it came at a at a good time <laughs> 
So that's my retail therapy for the last couple months. Today is May 1st, which means that this is my seventh wedding anniversary. Today, seven years ago, I married my husband and I said I wasn't ever going to get married again and this man just swept me off my feet and it's been it's been wonderful ever since. So I'm glad he talked me into it <laughs> and um, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't change a thing. So since I didn't get to start my BAP for March Mayhem, I thought it might be a perfect opportunity to start that today on my wedding anniversary since he chose the chart. So <clears throat> I filmed um, the opening of that BAP envelope. I had not opened it. I had not peeked. I, I knew what was in there. But I did. I, I forgot what charts were in there. But I, I'm, I'm the one that put them in there. But I, I had no clue which one he chose, and I did not look at that until I made the video. So I know which one I'm starting now, and I will let you all know right now. So let's see. Okay, there's the envelope. All right. Oh. <clears throat> good start. Good start. The first one is Christmas Village. And I'm not going to be able to. It's Sarah. Um, Sarah Germini. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but this is Christmas Village. I fell in love with this. I also have her Halloween Village as well, but isn't that pretty? She's an Italian designer. There's her website. But isn't that pretty? This one comes with the wooden buttons. It's got a DMC. It's all in DMC. And it's 278 wide by 263 high. So she's a big one. That mousse. Isn't that cute? So much to look at. Santa in the sky. And he's also in several places here. Just really cute, really cute. Okay, we have Love Abide by Lottie Da. This one I got in the twenty nine at the twenty nineteen market. I'm pretty sure. This one is two hundred fifty four by two hundred forty three. DMC and it has some weeks in it, which makes it nice. It's not all fancies. Just, just a few in special places. Isn't that pretty? In our home, let love abide and bless all those who step inside. That would be really appropriate, right, for an anniversary sampler? Christmas at Hollyberry Farm. I kitted this one up on a trip that I made with my BFF. I'm, I'm thinking it was House Tyrol in Williamsburg, if I'm not mistaken, which is now closed. So I'm glad I kitted this up before that. But this is Christmas at Holly, Holly Berry Farm by Stacy Nash. I, let's see, this one is 285 by 197. So pretty that house. It's really really pretty okay now these next two are ones that I've had in my stash for forever and this is common ground by just Nan let me take this out of here it doesn't even look like it's ever been it's not ever been open it has all of the it's got the uh, accessory pack with it. This is common ground. We share with all who stitched before and those who follow after. Birds and flowers, peaceful hours, sunshine, tears, and laughter. Isn't that gorgeous? I know there's, there's like I said, there's beads, there's silks that come in the accessory pack. There's little findings. 
a charm. The charm's right here. I'm not sure if they're specialty stitches. I would assume there are. Yeah, it looks like the the berries on or apples on the tree. Maybe. But that's Common Ground by Just Nan. And this next one is also by Just Nan. This is Silkwood Manor. The day star turns its shining face to warm the earth with flowering grace. And also the accessory pack. This one, the lion's head fountain is the charm. Really, really pretty. This one, oh, I didn't say how, what common ground, the dimensions are, let's see, 187 by 129, and Silkwood Manor is 187 by 131, so they're about the same, same size, and pretty. Okay, the next one is Faith, Hope, Peace, and Love. And by Teresa Cobit. This was a 2020 market release. Really, look at that. And and see, faith, hope, peace, and love are on the four corners of the chart. Look at that. Just gorgeous that house. This one is 264 by 320. Also, a big girl. I love that cat. Look at the cat and the dog. <laughs> the two cats. Oh, so pretty. The red and green. That's clever. I really like that. Also, this one was. 2020 release from her. This one is Heaven and Nature. It's a Christmas sampler. This one is 284 by 360. House is so big. But look at those deer with the owls. Dragonfly. Up here you have squirrels and rabbits and a little a cherub, a raccoon. Look at the raccoon, the little bird on its back. <laughs> so beautiful. So you see why I had trouble choosing. Now this one is Town and Country, book two by Charles Wysocki. And I love both of these. So I told him whichever one. He likes best if he, if he chooses this one. Old Glory Farms. And this one is uh, like a town scene. There's a cake wagon, ice cream wagon, fresh produce, bake shop, and dry goods. I'm sorry, I'm shaking a little bit. <laughs> This one, A Most Noble Pursuit. <clears throat> this is collaboration between these designers, Primitive Traditions, Hands to Work, Bright Needle, The Work Basket, Praiseworthy Stitches, Patricia Ann, With My Needle, Lottie Da, Stitch in a Prayer, and Carriage House Samplings. This was released in 2006. Isn't that pretty? I love this. Now this one is, each block is 80 stitches by 120. It's 408 by 242. Yeah. <laughs> and then the last one is Rhapsody in Blue. This is by Four Oaks Designs. I've also had this one in my stash for forever. 
Not sure if I'll do it with blue, but it would look really pretty with any color, any pretty variegated color. It's a gorgeous sampler. The fonts are gorgeous. The flowers and the border is just phenomenal. This one is 257 by 257. So, we have Rhapsody in Blue, A Most Noble Pursuit, Town and Country, Heaven and Nature, Faith, Hope, Peace and Love, Silkwood Manor, Common Ground, Christmas at Hollyberry Farm, Love Abide, and Christmas Village. What's your choice? What do you think he chose? Well, we're getting ready to find out. <clears throat> the envelope, please. I hope you chose one that I have the fabric for. <laughs> well, I do. I, I've got some. I bought a yard uh, each of two R&R &R fabrics at market in 2020. So hopefully it'll be something that'll work on one of those. All right. He wrote a little love note. Okay. Most difficult to decide. All are great, but the Christmas village shouted the loudest to say, pick me. I hope I've helped you, my love forever. So it's going to be Christmas Village by Sarah Germini. She just nailed that. So I'm excited to have another Christmas piece to work on. I would have been happy with any one of these designs. Any one of them would have made me just as happy. And this one is, I'm over the moon. I mean, look at the tree, how the trees come out into the middle of the design. It, and the, the little gate, the fence, this, and the, oh, just the little bird robins. Well, I don't guess those are robins. It's Christmas time. But, well, maybe they have robins in Italy. I don't know. <laughs> Christmas. Isn't that pretty? So, each little house is going to be its own little mini finish, and it's going to be great. So... All right, I will send you back to the regular video. So I'm very excited about that. And I've got to, luckily it's all DMC, which I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm, I'm good on that. And I think I have the right piece of fabric. So I'm, I'm excited to get in there after this video is edited and uploading and, and get to that. So very exciting, exciting stuff. So Thank you for your um, support and your interest in my March Mayhem. It was a lot of fun, and I will be continuing that next year, definitely. So I need to get some finishes under my belt again this year. And I've got several of those. Um, several of the March Mayhem starts are small enough to where I should be able to finish them. That sampler flag, that uh, Freedom Needle Book... Um, Gosh, there's, there's several of them that are small enough that I should be able to uh, just whip those out and get them done, which will make room next year um, in my whip count. So I like having, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to keep it under 40 because I don't want any more than that. It's, I, I, I can't handle, uh, first of all, I don't have the space to store them, but um, uh, I, I like the, the between 30 and 40. So if, I'm going to try to keep it there, hopefully lower than <laughs> But, um, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. So thank you very much. And, and um, in the March Mayhem group on Facebook, um, those of you who participated, I really enjoyed watching your progress on your whips, uh, seeing all your new starts. It was amazing. I, I didn't participate very much because, you know, things, but it was, um, it was a lot of fun watching um, everyone enjoy their March Mayhem. So thank you everyone for joining me in that and Lorraine who is our co-hostess for that event and uh, we will definitely be doing that next year so now let's move on to whatever's next I don't know <laughs> okay a few months back 
I got an email from YouTube that said that they were going to they had they were going to reserve the right to monetize my channel because I hadn't monetized and I guess they figured it needed to be monetized and if you know if if I wasn't interested in it then they were just going to do it and and get the money well I it upset me so badly because first of all I didn't I didn't really think they would do it and second of all I've always said I was not planning to monetize and apparently they are targeting people who are not monetizing who are eligible and I've noticed that some of my videos are now monetized so I went ahead and applied to monetize my channel because I'm the one that's doing the work and I'm the one that uh, is putting forth the effort so I you know it's it, I'm not going to just hand advertising dollars over to YouTube. So I don't care to share with them, but you know, that's not kosher with me. So I applied to monetize and I'm in the final stages. So you will start seeing ads on my videos. And I have every intention of keeping them minimal. I don't know how it works. I don't know if you control where they, put, where they go. I don't know if you, I think you control how many are on there, but um, I'm sorry. I I am sorry that it's come to that because I, um, you know, I, I didn't want you to have to do, watch ads or skip ads or, you know, to, 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 uh, visit with me. But unfortunately that's what, that's where we are. So just a heads up, it's not my decision, but, um, unfortunately it's, that's, that's where we are. I am having some health issues, and I'm, um, it, it, it is what it is, and I'm working with my doctor, so uh, we've got a new plan in place, so hopefully, you know, things will get better, but um, I feel your prayers, I do, I know, a lot of you know that, you know, I did, a, I, I did false tubes every single week, and um, there for, you know, a couple years, and uh this last year I've been really struggling. So, but, you know, I mean, compared to some other people in this world, <laughs> I, I am blessed. I am blessed and highly favored. So my son um, had some very, very good news. He had some life-changing news and he is currently staying at our other um, house. It's not as bougie as it sounds. It's just a little, little, coal company house um, up the street so it's wonderful to have him here we had dinner together last night and uh it's it's wonderful just to have him nearby i don't think it's going to be for very long so i'm enjoying it while i can <laughs> so it's my middle son so um yeah i've i've, I've really been enjoy enjoying that so and i've already mentioned the bathroom my husband is also um, having some struggles and God love him. He's trying his best, but it's taken him quite a while to get my bathroom done. And, um, you know, running new, he's run new plumbing throughout the house. He's working on the electric, um, running new wiring and putting, putting my lights. He's already got my, he's got my shower in and he's got the light, the new light and the new, me new medicine cabinet in and uh, still got, he's got a lot of the drywall up got to finish the drywall put the tile down paint and hook the plumbing up I think that's it and in the sink so but yeah it's slow going but it's it's going to be worth it I'm I'm excited and um, we bought a truck to pull the camper with which <laughs> bought the camper and nothing to pull it with so we bought a truck a, a used truck from a lot and had it two weeks and the engine blew up. So, again, blessed and highly favored. We were able to order a new engine, a, a remanufactured engine, and it's currently being built. And it should be here in a couple of weeks. And we already have uh, a mechanic lined up to, to install it. So, 
we'll have hopefully a brand new truck <laughs> when when all said and done the the body of the truck is in excellent condition and it's a 2003 but it's an excellent condition it's a dodge ram and um with a remanufactured engine that came with a guarantee so um we should have a, a really good truck when all said and done so <laughs> you know two weeks spilt water on my laptop my brand new laptop that I, I just had gotten a couple months ago and the speaker stopped working so I was using an HD, HDMI cable putting it through the TV which it was nice watching YouTube on TV and uh, I needed to do some working on some Google Docs and uh, brought it back over and speakers worked I guess it dried out. I don't know, but it started working again and uh, blessed and highly favored again because, I mean, it was like, are you kidding me right now? I, I mean, <laughs> so yeah, uh, you know, crazy, crazy. But spring is here. Uh, we're going magnet fishing soon. I cannot wait for that. Fresh air, you know, just the breeze. I've got the windows open. And uh, honestly, I think that's what woke me up. I really do when it our first warm day and I opened the front door to the screen and let that air come in and it hit me just to, and the birds it I think that's what did it I think that's what got me on the right track so I uh, just you know so um we've um my husband went out and got me some morels some mushrooms and I fried those up and oh, as I told him, I said, you got to give me some more. You got, you got, it's more L season here and it's not going to be, it's not going to last much longer. So, um, I want some more. I want more. So, so that's been what's going on with me. Like I said, it's, you know, it's not anything compared to what other people are struggling with, but it's my life, my world and my struggles and uh, no more important than anybody else's. But, um, you know, I am feeling better, and uh, I say that every time, but hopefully this one will stick. We'll see. I've been doing intermittent fasting for the past month. I lost seven pounds, and um, I'm enjoying it because it's it's working for me. You know, it's not for everybody, but I, I don't say I'm enjoying it. You know, you don't enjoy having to do anything to lose weight, but um, it seems to be working, and that's what's important so yeah it's you know like I said it's my life and my struggles but it's uh it is what it is so I have kept you long enough I know this has been a long video and I hope you paced yourself through it <laughs> but um I won't stay away as long this time I won't I promise so I want to leave you with a Mother Teresa quote that I found this past week and I found it very profound so I wanted to share it with you. Be happy in the moment, that's enough. Each moment is all we need, not more. So God bless you and until I see you again, happy stitching. <laughs>